Let's put spot. Look the spotlight. Dark and face. So hello guys! Welcome to our video. So for today, we are going to be touring you around the Philippines. I'm Norman Angel Ace Ramiento and I'm going to tour you in Bonifacio Shrine Monument. Bonifacio Shrine or Monument, it was built in November 30, 1939. It was a memorial monument in Caloogan, Philippines, which was designed by national artist Guillermo Tolentino. Bonifacio Shrine or Monument recalls the Philippine Revolution which was spearheaded by Andres Bonifacio. It is considered the most symbolic monument in the country. I'm Cindy B. Sorcerer and let's discover more about Aduana Building. Let's start! Aduana Building or aka Aduana de Manila or Manila Custom House also known as the Identia was a Spanish colonial structure in Manila, Philippines that housed several government offices through the years. It is located in the form of BPI Intramuros, formerly the site of Old Santo Domingo Church at Plaza España Soriano, Aduana, Avenue Coin, Morayla Street, and in Intramuros. The Aduana or Custom House was built in Intramuros to attract merchants to remain within its walls rather than outside of its record show. Then in 1822, a Spanish engineer Tomas Cortes took charge of the project on began its construction in 1823. I'm Axel and Esparas I'm here at the Museo ng Pangulong Sasakyan. So, this museum was formerly inaugurated on August 19, 2018. And the National Historical Commission of the Philippines secured the location of this museum. When it's, when it's signed in a memorandum agreement with the local government, of the Quezon City. You can see here the the cars of the pres president president before. You can see that. The Museo ng Pangulong Sasakyan it used to be a well-known attraction because it, of its beauty and the beauty of its history. But as other museum often, it is becoming harder to visit and less well liked. We can restore its popularity through social media and promote the past Philippine presidential cars. We might also mention how magnificent and historical. So hi guys, I'm here at Araceros Forest Park and I'll be your tourist guide. Did you know Araceros Forest Park built in 1993? This having um, 800 ornamental plants and also this having a uh, different varieties, 61 different varieties of trees. Um, you can go here to take an um, Instagrammable picture in the forest, and also you can, and also you can, you can see how. Hi, I am Lady Louise Dilakap and today I'll show you around the Metropolitan Theater Ormet. It was built on December 10, 1931. 
The Metropolitan Theater Filipino Tanghalang Metropolitan, abbreviated as MET, is a Philippine Art Deco building found near the Mehan Garden, located on Padre Burgos Avenue, corner Arocera Street, near the Manila Central Post Office. It was designed by architect Juan M. Arellano and inaugurated on December 10, 1931. If only walls could talk, over the past eight decades, the MET has helped the guerrilla movement. It became a hotel, a motel, a boxing arena, a cinema, and so many more. The Metropolitan Theater is repository of a Juan Arellano architecture of paintings, sculptures, carvings, and other features by Fernando Amorsolo and other masters and artisans and of Philippine stage and film history. When it opened in 1935, a respected architect said it was the most magnificent and impressive structure ever erected in the Philippines, a monumental masterpiece. Lourdes Montinella quotes, I am Paul Christian C. Bernarte. I will tour you about Quezon Memorial Circle. It was built between 1952 to 1978. The Quezon Memorial Circle is a national park located in Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. The park is located inside a large traffic circle in the shape of an ellipse and bounded by the elliptical road. And is the main park of Quezon City, which serves as the official capital of the Philippines from 1948 to 1976. This kind of environment is all we need to take a break and have a weekend leisure walk at Quezon Memorial Circle. Hi, my name is Alexandra Micaela Sanchez. Hey guys, we are here at Fort Nuestra Senor de Guia, also known as Baluarte de San Diego. Did you know it was built in late 16th century? It is one of the oldest fort inside. Baluarte had damage because of war and earthquake. 1762, battle with the British forces. 1863, due to an earthquake. 1945, the Battle of Manila and restored in 1992. You need to visit more Baluarte. Because it's, because of its historical places. Hello everyone, I am Julene Jane Malimban and please allow me to present to you the beauty of Paco Park. Did you know that Paco Park was originally named as Cementerio General de Dilao? Paco Park is a recreational garden which was built by the Dominicans on the Spanish colonial period. It was built on April 22, 1822. Isa pang trivia, alam nyo ba na sa Paco Park unang nilibing si Dr. Jose Rizal bago siya nilipat sa Luneta Park kung saan siya binaril? Yes, doon siya unang nilibing with a named grave. Ginawa yun ng Rizal family para raw isikreto sa mga Pilipino yung pagkakalibing ni Dr. Jose Rizal sa Paco Park. Kasi nung panahon na yun, may revolusyon na nangyayari. So, gusto nila maging safe yung labi ni Dr. Jose Rizal. Good day everyone. My name is Asher Nilanji Medina and I will tour you in Capitol Theater. The Capitol Theater was built in 1935 and a masterpiece of national artist Juan F. Nakpil de Jesus who also designed the Pera Samanillo building. Together with the great Andres Luna de San Pedro. The Capitol had total of 800 seats and one of the Manila's air-conditioned theaters. Adding to this long, long list of historic structure is the Capitol Theater along Escolta Street in Manila which is torn down in the week June 14. The Leyte Landing Memorial Park, or also known as the Mark Arthur Landing Memorial Park in Palo, Leyte. The War Memorial is located on Municipality of Palo, on Leyte Island. In Eastern Visayas, it is one of the region's major tourist attractions. It was declared National Park on July 12, 1977. Did you know the Leyte marks the site? of General Douglas MacArthur's return to the Philippines to fulfill his promise to the Filipinos in helping free to the country from Japanese forces. 
is now immortal remark, I shall return, was fulfilled on October 20, 1944, which commenced the largest naval battle of World War II. Kaalaman ng kabatang Pilipino Madadagan para maibalik Ang ganda ng nakaraan Nakaraan ng nakaraan Tara na, ibalik ang ganda Tara na, ibalik ang ganda Tara na, ibalik ang ganda Tara na Tarana, aratna, tarana, tarana, aratna, tarana, tarana.